What's up you guys? It's Lo Beauty Demon and we are back to talk about internet BS. Well, this actually is not BS. This is a joyful occasion. Uh, cat hair is flying everywhere as I flail my arms about. That's awesome. We're here to talk about the joyous occasion of Trisha Paytas finally getting married. Does that mean Trisha Paytas is changing their last name or is Moses changing his last name? I kind of am voting for Moses changing his last name to Paytas. Moses Paytas has kind of some ring to it, you know? But before we get into that, please, if you have not already, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I post. And please don't send anybody that we talk about in this any hate, negativity, and nothing like that. These are just my thoughts and opinions based on what I am seeing on the internet. So if you have something to say, just shoot it down in the comments below. That's, that's what the comments are there for. And with that, I actually have not made a Trisha Paytas video in a minute. Now, actually, if you look at my channel, it probably doesn't look like it hasn't been that long, but I have filmed, or pre-filmed rather, a lot of content that's gonna be coming up in the next coming weeks, so you'll get to see all that fun stuff. But I wanted to post this because I found it very interesting. So I haven't been posting Trisha Paytas content because really it's just more of the same clickbait, offensive bullshit. You know, the real internet BS. And I was tired of it. I didn't wanna give Trisha the attention. I already made a couple videos about it. Plus, Trisha was going the whole foodie beauty route and posting so much video content and live streams. It was just impossible to keep up with everything that was going on with Trisha. And Trisha did manage to piss off a Holocaust survivor, which I am not sure if that is a new low for Trisha or if it's a crowning achievement because Trisha is trying to be the queen troll of the internet. And apparently Trisha has been showcasing how to live off the grid with their adorable little vegetable garden. And it's laughable for somebody to talk about how they have a living off the grid lifestyle from their mansion in Los Angeles that is one of the most expensive cities in the entire world to live in. One thing I did notice through like the past, I don't know, like two weeks or whatever of every think Trisha has been posting in the last month, month and a half really, is there hasn't been a lot of wedding content. Trisha has, you know, done a couple videos of like taste tests and things like that here and there. But, you know, I expected a lot more wedding content, but instead we were just stuck with Trisha trolls nonstop across all of their channels. But wedding content is huge. And I feel like Trisha would have gotten like double or triple the amount of views that they were getting on their channel just by leaning into the wedding content. Even people who are not necessarily fans of Trisha might just tune in to see the wedding planning process. We could totally make the argument of, you know, this is a very personal and private moment for Trisha. Trisha doesn't have to share everything with the internet. This is something that Trisha really cares about and holds near and dear to their heart. And I totally understand and respect that. But what that also says to me is all the other stuff that Trisha has been posting and trolling about religion, veganism, mental health and mental illness. Trisha doesn't care about those things because Trisha continues to post and exploit content about it. But with the wedding, it's too personal and important. Don't wanna overshare on that. All that aside, Trisha and Moses got married on Saturday, December 11th. We did get some sneak peeks of the rehearsal dinner, which was on Friday. Trisha wore a very nice white Fashion Nova dress. I thought it was very cute. It looked very flattering on them. Their hair and their makeup look cute, but they have a really good hair and makeup team, so I'm not surprised on that. But some people were reading Trisha for wearing a Fashion Nova dress because Trisha has said in countless videos and things that they are all about luxury and custom fits for this wedding. But, you know, Fashion Nova is a sponsor of Trisha, so, and I, I'm, I'm not surprised, and I'm pretty sure there was like a TikTok somewhere of Trisha saying like, vote for my dinner rehearsal dress, and everybody picked that. And I mean, I thought it looked cute. I think it's like $70 though. I don't know if I would spend $70 on a dress from Fashion Nova, because let's be honest, like Fashion Nova isn't like the highest quality product. And there goes my chance of ever being sponsored by Fashion Nova. I've actually never bought Fashion Nova, but I have bought Shein stuff. I don't even know that's how you say it, but that's what I go with. So there were some social media leaks on the internet on Saturday though. We did see some posts on, most of them were on Frenemy's room and then spilling the tea with me. I think is what that Instagram is called. I'll put it up here. And I did get a couple receipts from these two Instagram accounts, which I really like both of them and I've been following them for a while. So if you are not, please go follow them over on Instagram. One TikTok from Social Repos that was reposted over there. Side note, Social Repos is there because he's in Trisha's sad boy 
band, right? I, I'm pretty sure. But he posted a TikTok of him like entering and everything and a couple of like the nuptials and whatnot. And I thought it looked really beautiful inside. They had these white trees. However, I would have hated being one of the people sitting behind the trees because I couldn't see a damn thing. But it did kind of like go over and there were like chandeliers around. So I thought it was very beautiful. It was very ethereal. FYI, this is where this video becomes a like wedding gossip video. You know how like some people are obsessed with royal weddings and like Kate and Megan, not that they got married, but I would totally watch a lesbian royal wedding, but then neither one of those women are royals. This is beside the point. I just want to talk about this wedding stuff. Trisha came down the aisle to a My Chemical Romance song. This whole wedding actually could have been a My Chemical Romance themed wedding. However, I know nothing about My Chemical Romance, so I have no idea. That would have just gone right over my head. All of Trisha's guests wore white while Trisha actually wore a black princess dress. Now at, you know, princess gowns, they have like the big poofy uh, skirt and it looked like all of her dress was made out of like sparkly crinoline. So like very ethereal. I felt like it matched the whole ethereal feel of the wedding and is a nice contrast. Now I was not a fan of the bodice of the dress. Personally, I understand it definitely made them look thinner, but I don't really like a full nude illusion. I guess, I guess personally, I just like a bodice that is a full bodice. Not that it has to have straps or anything on it, but I don't know. It just was a personal preference. Overall though, the dress was gorgeous. Trisha's veil was beautiful as well. And Trisha actually had a second dress that they wore at the reception. It was a shorter, more like a party dress, white lace with a big black applique over the breast and then removable big black bow. I say it had to be removable because Trisha was wearing it in the dance with her dad. But then in other pictures, you could see that it wasn't on there. Shoes were really cute too. So that dress, also adorable. Yeah, I really like the off the shoulder and the sweetheart neckline in that. I think that was a sweetheart neckline. Trisha looked really good. Trisha looked beautiful on their wedding day. And Moses, you know, Moses looked like Moses in a suit. So right after their nuptials, Trisha and Moses did a video from like the private room that you go to after you get married, you know, where you like are sitting before they take your pictures and like the bridal party will come in. It's just like a place to like chill. And there was some food there. So of course, Trisha and Moses did a mini mukbang, very on brand for Trisha to immediately do a mukbang after their wedding. Honestly, this video was kind of annoying because it was like we were, it was almost like the camera was accidentally turned on in their pocket and we were listening to conversations that we didn't really need to hear that for the most part were not interesting. Trisha was talking to people who weren't on camera. We did get to see Trisha's sister, Callie, who also looked very beautiful. Dress was gorgeous. They had like a little corset number going on, which I like a good corset dress. It kind of like nips and tucks things where you want it to be. But Trisha kept saying like the whole ceremony felt like this fever dream, which fever dreams are usually nightmares. Uh, so I don't think that that's the right word that they were looking for. They did say it felt very surreal. And I think that's more what it's like. It's like an uncanny feeling, very surreal. Like, is this reality? This is dream. Dream. And Trisha does also say it went so fast, which is what a lot of people say about their wedding ceremony. It goes by really quick. And if you don't take it all in, you will totally miss everything. I totally get where Trisha's coming from with that. One thing that was interesting in this post-wedding mukbang video is Moses started telling a story of how his shirt actually didn't fit and how he had to go and get another shirt, but the valet almost didn't let him leave because the valet said they were under strict instructions from Trisha to not let Moses leave. So the valet almost didn't let Moses go get uh, a shirt. Wait a minute, I don't have a shirt. Damn. I ran down. My brother too, right? Oh, so the guy, the guy didn't want to give me the car. Because so, he thought you were leaving, that you were leaving I me. Love those shoes. He was just like, well, she said, no, but he said, like, she said specifically not to give you the car. Yeah. But Who said that? The, the, the valet party. That they said that about me? Yeah, it was so funny. Oh my god, that's so weird. He was like, um, Good I'm thing not it sure. Worked out. And it kind of reminded me of when Trisha threw Moses' keys over the fence so Moses couldn't leave. And then at some point in the video, Trisha decided to actually ask what was in the food in these little roll things that they were doing their mini mukbang. And somebody said, oh yeah, that's beef. And Trisha was like, oh no, my pescatarian diet's ruined. Trisha didn't really seem that bothered by it. So I'm just gonna move on from Trisha's trolling because this is supposed to be a joyous occasion, remember? Somebody shows Trisha and Moses a video they took of their nuptials and and I did actually see a video on, or it was like on social repost as TikTok, the one that I mentioned earlier. And there were so many people with their phones out recording Trisha. Of course, Trisha and Moses were like, oh my God, we'll have everybody airdrop that stuff to us. But to me, I was just like, dang, 
I would hate to be the photographer and the videographer at this wedding because all these cell phones are out, these flashes are going off like crazy. I'm sure there are many instances where somebody's phone is actually in the way of the photographer or the videographer getting the perfect shot. I actually don't know if Trisha had a videographer, but I know they had a photographer because they were like waiting for pictures and stuff. I'm like half surprised that Trisha didn't say no cell phones, but I'm also half not surprised because Trisha's whole life is on the internet and their celebrity and everything is from there. So it would be, it wouldn't exactly be on brand for Trisha to say no cell phones, but at the same time, I would understand it in this wedding situation. Not even so much for privacy, but just for like the fact that they probably paid thousands of dollars for these photographers. And then at the end of the video, a coordinator for wherever they are popped their head in and said, hey, you know, it's time. Time for what? Not really sure because Moses and Trisha immediately cut off the video. They didn't even say bye to us. I told you it really felt like we had just been turned on in their pocket and they whisked off to whatever. So I, I hope they have a really happy marriage though. I think they are perfect for each other. I was actually curious though, if Dakota paid us ended up at the wedding. Now, Dakota was the crazy super fan of Trisha Paytas that was invited and then uninvited to the wedding. And as last I knew, uh, Dakota planned on still going. Dakota had already purchased a ticket to LA. So they were like, yeah, I'm still going. And on TikTok, Dakota had posted a video or a TikTok rather, whatever, of them getting on a plane and flying to somewhere. So I was assuming it was Los Angeles. And then they posted another TikTok of themselves getting in disguise to go to the wedding and then their TikTok was deleted. So who knows what happened there? I was kind of hanging around all day today to see if maybe there was some news from Dakota Paytas. Eh, I don't know if they showed up at Trisha's wedding. Um, I assume we will either find out from Dakota Paytas soon because they'll probably come back to social media or Trisha will tell us in a KFC mukbang in their Mercedes or Rolls Royce, whatever. I don't fucking know what cars Trisha has. I don't really care what kind of cars Trisha drives, but I wish the newlyweds all the best. I hope Trisha and Moses Paytas are happy together and live a long, joyous life. And that is it for today's video, you guys. Remember, if you have not already, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Laters. Bye.